Nothing. Uh, I was actually kind of interested in this. Give cash to the captives. ka -ching! And then they get shot Here. for robbery as they go out the door. Take that and come with me. I know someone who can help you. Uh, okay, are we going then? Is there anything else in here to... Yeah, there is. Honor. What have we got here? Search the drawer. These are going to be... I'm guessing these are going to be empty. They should be. Okay. As soon as I step outside, trouble. This way. No. Not much farther. I'm bastards. very suspicious of this. Something's going to happen. How the hell do I get out of here? Oh, I, wait, wait, wait. Can I run? And will I keep up? Just to make sure I don't accidentally kill anyone. Cat! We can stand on a cat. I won't get arrested for standing on a cat. Brother. Brother Dorkin's friend. Arthur. Arthur Dorkins. Morgan. Come on. You were right. I found these two imprisoned in that shop. Oh my. That's. Well, they are blessed to have met you, Arthur. Trust me in that. They're very unusual. I don't think they speak much English. My brothers. Come. Let's go get something to eat. Manger. Comida, please. Hey, he forgot this. Oh. Yes. Thank you. I. Uh, um. Here. Payment. For your services. I could not have freed these men myself. What's going on here? Oh, I've got the option. Give to the poor. Give it to the poor, brother. Thank you. I will. Maybe, maybe he is. Like I said, magnificent. Come on. Come, come. Genuine come. monk. Come see me again sometime. I often work at the old church on Gasper okay. Street in St. Francis. I thought I'd maybe just freed some, like, bandit or something from a bounty hunter. I don't know. I'm so suspicious about this game. Nothing is quite as it seems. All right, that was, that was interesting, I suppose. Let's go and see what the stranger thing up here is. And then we've got a Dutch quest we can go see. What time is it, by the way? Oh, I've got loads of time, yeah. That's right, pretty whole. That is a right pretty horse. I agree. It's a bit skittish. Whoa, is this the... No, that's the one where we met where we met Charles and his pornographic teachings. Have a little ride along here. This is the suburbs, I guess. Hey, what boys? How are you? How is married life? I think you might be mistaking me for Earl Grey. I've been married for 18 years this year. <laughs> but it's good. It's 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 good. If that was a if that if that was a question aimed at me. <laughs> yeah, I think Earl Grey's just got um or I Earl Grey or whatever however you pronounce his name. Has, uh, just got married. But hopefully, his married life will still be good. It wants to be. Uh, a week in. How are you doing, anyway? What? <laughs> Listen, bit of a weird question, but do you know where I might find some moonshine? No. What? Moonshine. You no, know, strong liquor. Over strong. Wow, you want to get over drunk? <laughs> no, no, it's never drinking. <laughs> what is it for? Oh, I just need some. Well, as luck would have it, you are in the legal hooch capital of America. Ooh. There's plenty of real booze here. But for shine, well, <laughs> no worries. I'm guessing you'd need to go out into the woods. I mean, I know you'd have to go out into the woods. Now listen, I don't need that much. How much? About a hundred gallons. Oh, shine? Yes, hundred gallons. Why? Oh, all right, I'm trying. I'm building a machine. A machine of love. <laughs> hundred gallons of hooch and love's gonna come pretty <laughs> cheap. Please. Friend, <laughs> I'll pay. <coughs> just, just, just bring it here. It's for good cause. I'm guessing well, it's uh, an automobile or something. Anyone knows who's moving that kind of shine? It'll be that stagecoach guy in Rhodes. Ah, uh -huh. okay. All right. Talk to Alden. 
which we were just there, fortunately. <laughs> we would be bad if the marriage had gone awry so fast after a week. <laughs> yeah. I nearly didn't make it to my own wedding. I nearly got killed the week before when I was a tree surgeon or arborist, as I used to call myself. But nobody, I ever, whenever I told someone what I did for a living, I said, oh, I'm an arborist. They never understood what that was. They thought it was something to do with ships and harbour masters and stuff. And uh, instead of arboriculture. So I just used to get used to calling myself a tree surgeon. Oh, yeah, yeah, you climb trees with a chainsaw. Okay, I know now. But yeah, and uh, some idiot I was working with nearly felled an 80-foot tall beech tree on me one week before I, I was going to get married. And the next day, I handed my notice in. And that was the end of that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, we want to horse that over there. Yeah, it was pretty close. And, uh, I also learned after I left that particular company. I mean, it is a dangerous, fairly dangerous job. Um, but if you follow all the safety... Stop, 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 stop! I need some better brakes on this thing. Diffuse... My horse doesn't have a very good brake. Um, and it's a fairly dangerous job, but if you follow all the safety guides and everything, and uh, all your training that you have to do to get the certificate to go and do it, it makes it as safe as it can be. It's when idiots start thinking they can take shortcuts. That's when it gets dangerous. And unfortunately, the guy that I was uh, put with at this company I was subcontracting to was an idiot who thought he could take shortcuts. And, uh, yeah, it nearly cost me dearly. There was someone there to talk to, I think, but I think I've just missed them. Yeah, I also found out after I left that place that the guy I'd been replacing uh, was taking them to court for damages. You see, he'd suffered a broken hip after the idiot that nearly killed me dropped half a tree on him. Could have been a close run thing, that. Your son sometimes does that with a friend, climbing trees with a chainsaw, you mean? Broke his collarbone three weeks ago. It's, uh, it can be rough. can be rough. Just before he has to deploy for six months as a reservist in the army. Okay. Ah, that sounds, that sounds more interesting. I'd be... Um, I mean, a broken collarbone's a horrible, nasty thing. But I'd be curious, actually, uh, if you looked at the safety records, are you, might are you more likely to get injured on active service in the army, in a combat zone? or working in the tree care industry. I would, I would, yeah, pr computers are a lot safer and warmer and drier. I will add that as well. I'd be curious to learn, um, actually, because uh, when we were training, this, this, is, this is how stupid people are and thinking they can take shortcuts and stuff. Uh, when we were training, we were told the story of this guy working in the northeast of the UK who had burnt himself to death in a tree by accident because he was dismantling this conifer. And to save time, he thought, I'll just start a bonfire at the bottom of the tree. And as I chop each section down and each branch off, I'll just drop it onto the bonfire and it'll save time later. Well, of course, he shouldn't have been working alone at height in any case. But uh, of course, the bottom of the tree caught fire, all dry stuff as conifers off now, and he burnt to death up a tree. So, you know, he gets a Darwin Award for that. I think I'm supposed to come off the horse here. I don't think he likes me taking the horse into the park. I, I actually, it's really another bizarre twist of fate, I actually met a friend of this guy's just a few, couple of months ago. I was telling a, a customer I'd, I'd picked up for the um, computer work, and I was telling him about how he used to do this tree work, and then I heard the story about this... Uh, about these accidents that can take place. Before I had a chance to say that, she said, oh, yes, yes, unfortunately, one of my friends died. He uh, he started a fire at the bottom of the tree and burnt to death in it. And I'm glad she said that before I managed to get my little story about how much of an idiot he was out. <laughs> a terrible way to go. There you are. Yeah, the you flat earther in his spaceship. That was... What else do you know about this guy? I don't know whether to call that a tragedy or a comedy. Just these, some slick little greasy-haired European... Clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, boy's gonna get shot, that I guarantee. 
Better like this, you're gonna have a lot of protection. No one's gonna get shot, Arthur, so everyone just relax. We'll charm them. Trust me. Yeah, right. This is the place? <coughs> Must be. You okay, John? I guess. I mean, bringing John along, I know it's his son, but John's gonna be... He ain't gonna stay calm. No way. I wouldn't. Excuse With my kids. Me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? you nice one. Boss Dutch. down here and now, so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Nice oh, one. Now, boy. We just started a war with the mafia. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. We're still on the wrong side this. of a locked gate here. This doesn't look like it. this. No, this this ain't the way I would have done this. Don't I'd have worry, boys. driven a stagecoach, a burning stagecoach through the need gates. To straighten a couple of things out with your boss. These guys are well armed. Shotguns. I got a bad feeling about this. Chi sono sti buffoni? Sono qui per picciotto. Coi soldi? Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room. <laughs> They've got shotguns pointed at us. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking <laughs> like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath, mm -hmm. and you tell me how to act? He's got a point. You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now... We are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing they're gonna to be do family with or something. any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. <laughs> you think you are better than everyone else. Teodoro. <laughs> okay. After the very steel woman. I didn't see that Angelo coming. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur, uh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> I did not Marsh. see that coming at all. Oh, mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? Of go. course I know you would not want that, huh? No. No, no, no. So how about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What do you want what a boy for, it? anyway? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in this cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. I like you. that line. I'll have to remember that. See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. Thing is, they see my men, of course, they're on a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Got some ugly guards. Okay. Well, my horse looks tiny compared to John's. Look at the difference in stature there. Grave robbers? You think he's taking us for a fool? No idea. What choice do we have? None, I guess. I guess. This is idiotic. 
I always turn the wrong damn way. Hang on, hang on. Camera. What are you doing back there? I'm coming, I'm coming. It's this damn horse. Controls you are reversed. Know where the cemetery is? I think so. Pretty sure I rode by it earlier. It's real impressive. You know, you did good holding your tongue in there. Do you trust one word that comes out of that bastard's mouth? We don't even know where Jack is. Listen, we found Bronte. We got in there. Dutch is with him now. All things considered, it could have gone a lot worse. That poor kid. I ain't been a good father to him. I hope... <sighs> He's okay. He'll be fine. I figure... The Braithwaites were going to hold Jack Branson. For all the money we cost him. They must have sent him here so we couldn't get to him. But... Ronte knows by now there's no Braithwaites left to pay him. Jack ain't much used to him anymore. Let's just... Get this done, and let Dutch handle the rest. I just hope you're right. It ain't gonna be that easy. It never is. Never. Not the size that counts, it's how you use it. Oh, is that that's so? Great. I'll, okay. I, do you mind if I, um, I think this is it. tell my uh, my, my wife that? Let's because, ah, never mind, ahead. never mind. Okay. God damn it. What's up, John? Having a little trouble with your horse there? Um, oh, I'm stuck in this this um, this mode. Right, I got guns. I got guns. These will do. Can I run? I do need to eat. Actually, can I do that? Let's go straight to the bag. That's that's a much better way of doing it. Let's pick that. That'll do. Timey venison, plain venison will do. I'm not expecting too much trouble here. This will do fine. He says with his bolt action rifle and his repeater carb. Get the hell out of here. Uh, what are we doing? Search the cemetery for the grave robbers. We could just sprint. That's that's my preferred method of searching. We sprint up and down. Stay quiet. We don't want to spook. Well, what are we looking? Is that? There's a dog barking. Must be getting closer. Oh, I hear voices. Aha! Is that... Is that one of them? Or is that just someone? Dog. Praise. Hey there, boy. Well, they can't be far. Let's keep going. I'm gonna check over here. Who's the person that ran off then? Was that one of them? Ah, can't be. Can't be. <laughs> I just thought John had maybe seen him. Come on, I've had enough of this crouching lark. Let's sprint around. I must be going out the, the wrong way. Can't believe we're doing this. Nope, neither can I. Know, but oh, hang on. Care once we get the boy There's a lantern back. on the floor. That bastard better keep his word. Surely. Something's going on here. No one leaves a lantern on the floor. Keep it down. Don't want him to bolt on us. There's no one here. Hmm. Uh, okay, right, we are getting closer then. We heard something smash and tinkle. We hear someone digging. What's that on the floor? Getting cut. I hear something in there. All right, okay. You boys found my puppies watching. It's an ambush. It's a trap. How many you see? Okay. Let's go. Three, four, 
hard to tell. You should have made Mr. Boom. I like the music. Bastards are trying to draw us out. You can't see where the damn. That's yeah, pretty grim, isn't it? Who have we got there? We should pick the right knife for it. Trying to disarm him. I'm not going to try that disarming challenge here. I need a nice big open space and a full meter of dead eye. Just one lot of dead eye. Hang on, John's over there. Maybe I should run towards John. Did I just go past someone? Yeah, so can I. He dead? Nice That's John, right? That's John. Sure oh! Snuck up on me from behind. Smack time. Go on. Finish, finish the job. That turned a bit messy at the end there. Gotta be around here someplace. Okay, but we'll need to be quick. We can't go back to Bronte empty-handed. Let's have a look oh, where my hat. shot at us from. <sighs> Robin grave robbers, we've hit the big You think time. if I was sneakier, they wouldn't have ambushed me? Nah. Nah. I was a perfect, perfect goddess of stealth. Goddess of stealth? Like I perfect said, god of stealth. Let's look around where they jumped us. All right, let's go back to where we got jumped then. Music was quite Phantom of the Opera. I liked it. It sounded like lots of those like Friday the Thirteenth style horror from the horror movies. Where was it? It wasn't round. There was some door at the back of the thing somewhere, but we can't go back to Bronte with nothing. Was it here? Are we going to become the grave robbers? Think there might be something in here. Oh, I've magically found a stash. So they were then grave Let's robbers. I thought here. it was maybe uh, an ambush. Shit. It's the law. Let's go. Maybe we can get out that gate. Nope. It's locked. Yep. We'll have to go back the way we came. Guaranteed. This feels more and more like a trap. We best stick to the side. We're gonna have to do this carefully, aren't we? Run, run. Am I gonna follow him? Coming this way, get down. Um. I found a body. Um. Looks fresh, still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here. Did I get seen? Do we have to? Is he going? I'm not very well hidden, but I dare move. Stick with me. I'm gonna trust John here. John knows what he's doing. Loot the stray out, <laughs> loot the body. We're going down here, right? Run, 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 run. Thank God for this yellow fog. We ain't going up there. No. Me too. Why don't you go left? I'll keep going straight, right? That was lucky. That was lucky. They've gone the other way. Come on then. Let's get out of here. Nice. Although the uh, the creaky gate might have given it away a bit. Turn to Bronte's manor. Is, is it gonna? Is the autopilot gonna kick in? Um, I don't know. Is it? I think. I think. 
I think I'm going the right way. Yay, I managed stealth. Did you did you have to fight? You didn't have to fight to get out of there. You stealthed out, I bet. Yeah, my trouble with stealth is that um, I don't often have the patience for it. And my idea of being stealthy is trying not to laugh too loud as I squeeze the trigger on the minigun. You did stealth as well? Alright, let's get this done. Figured. Didn't fancy a big shootout with the law office there. Okay, let's just park on, the Arthur. horse. Oh, my shoulders are aching tonight. Badly. Coming in with me? Just a minute. Just a minute. I felt a little bit underdressed before. There we go. <laughs> what are you doing? Let's go get Jack. Yep. Let's go get Jack. If you well, whisper while minigunning down enemies, it's stealthy. Jack. Where's your host? Like I said, yeah. you took your time. That was lucky. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank you Mr. Bronte you for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. For everything? For everything? Oh, What's Arthur, Dutch been up to? Mr. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. No. No. You sat in a bush for 20 minutes to avoid a mercenary Assassin's Creed Odyssey? That's patience. I'd have given it okay, boy. 30 seconds and then been looking for a way to either go around or we have a new just camp set kill him. You're gonna love it. Yeah. Alright, let's get this boy back to his mother. Kind of disappointed sure I didn't okay, get to son? play with the shotgun there. Sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they do anything to you? Have you ever had spaghetti? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teached me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? Slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh, I'm just glad you're all right. Why oh, yes. so good to the kid? I had the best time. But I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Very suspicious about people in this game doing good things for no reason. Why is that pig squealing off to the right? Or left? Again, people doing strange things. No one is innocent in this game. No one. So I that person was a lot higher level than you. It would have been a challenge. But yeah, I can see now why you had to stealth around him. 